The Federal Bureau of Investigation Director Christopher Ray has held discussions with the Central Bureau of Investigation Director Praveen Sood and other senior officials in which both agencies have recognized the challenges posed by organized crime networks, cyber-enabled financial crimes, ransomware threats, economic crimes and transnation crimes. They also discussed the need to expedite the sharing of evidence and for closer assistance in bringing criminals and fugitives to justice. The FBI Director is in India as part of a two-day visit to the country. The Ministry of External Affairs had earlier said his visit was part of the ongoing cooperation between the US and India on areas of security as well as counter-terrorism. Notably, the FBI Director's visit to India comes amidst US federal investigation into an alleged plot to assassinate India-designated terrorist Gurpatwan Singh Panu on American soil, for which the US administration leveled allegations against an Indian national and an India agency official. Group Captain UK Devnath, uh, defence expert, uh, is uh, joining us. Group Captain Devnath, how significant uh, are these meetings that the FBI director is holding in India? Oh, Uday, very, very significant. It must be noticed that uh, it is a visit by one uh, FBI chief to India after almost 12 years. So it shows that uh, certain, uh, some events uh, have taken place uh, in the recent past, uh, which now necessitates a visit by FBI chief uh, to India. Uh, Christopher Ray has uh, met uh, our uh, CBI chief Pradeep Sood and Praveen Sood and it goes without saying that if possible, probably there will be an indirect or indirect meeting with raw chief as well. Uh, USA is very concerned after what happened uh, to Gurpat Vansan uh, Panu case. Um, similarly, Canada is also very concerned uh, how uh, 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 Hardeep Singh Nijar was tackled in Canada. Um, so probably USA is sharing uh, certain inputs with India as well as with Canada. Uh, it may not come out in print, but the visit hints at a closer cooperation between India and US on sharing of intelligence, which says, uh, which is another way of saying that. U.S. knows what India is doing. Uh, on um, surface, it looked as if both the countries want to co cooperate on sharing of uh, intelligence on drugs, on smuggling of arms and on criminal activities by uh, parties based uh, on each other's soil. Uh, USA is very keen that probably India should not involve itself in any mischief in future at least on a U.S. or Canada's soil. Um, it is a very, very delicate matter. Uh, probably all the text will be spoken only. Uh, no written document to this effect will be produced. Uh, finally, uh, a lot depends upon what does U.S. ambassador writes in his debrief, uh, you know, diplomatic dispatch to USA. Uh, these uh, meet meetings are very, very cordial always on surface. But inside, there is a lot of hard sharing of hard feelings. So U.S. ambassador will be finally uh, arbitrating on outcome of this meeting. We look forward to U.S. ambassador. Uh, he is a friendly person uh, that he will tell U.S. government that India government does not intend to create any mischief on U.S. soil, uh, nor we did it in the past nor we are doing it today and in future also we will not do it. Yes, Uday? Absolutely. Uh, and, uh, you know, clearly, of course, it also shows, you know, the fact that uh, India and the U.S. are cooperating further, are uh, discussing counter-terrorism, are looking at how to enhance cooperation in security domain. Uday, uh, India and uh, U.S. have uh, crossed many rivers, many bridges, many culverts to arrive at a common platform as far as terrorism is concerned both the countries are uh, both the countries are taking best foot forward uh, best steps available and sharing the best uh, possible methods to ensure that terrorism does not raise its uh, head in um, american continent or in asian continent um, there was a series of meetings held between us embassy and indian counterparts and uh, U.S. Ambassador uh, Eric Garcetti has gone on record uh, to uh, say that India is uh, one of the closest allies of U.S. as far as uh, curbing uh, international terrorism is concerned. 
it, it goes in India's favor also because India wants and India has repeatedly told USA that Pakistan remains uh, the center of international terrorism. Pakistan is still giving protection, training, money, funding and encouragement to uh, on its soil to various terrorist groups, not only to work against India in JNK, but also all over the world. So uh, USA and India uh, uh, taking steps together to ensure that uh, any kind of terrorism is curtailed, nipped in bud, is um, it speaks august well for both the countries for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon